I'm here with my bee buddy, Meg. She's actually the resident expert because she's been doing this a couple years longer than me. <laughs> so half of our hives are, the brown ones are mine and the white ones are Meg's. So I started beekeeping when in 2021 when I was homeschooling my eight-year-old as like a passion project. He was interested in it. And since then, we've learned a lot. We've lost a lot of bees and it's trial and error, but we finally got honey last spring. So that was an exciting thing. So a couple things we're doing today. We're gonna check the hives that are still here um, and see how they're doing. Make sure they've got a queen that we see brood, right? Hopefully. Um, we do have one hive that we think swarmed because it was looking pretty good a few weeks ago and it's just gone now. So we're gonna take a look in there and see if there's any indication as to what happened. But well, let's see what's going on. Cracking open live hives, we'll do the dead one first. I know, I was just saying, there's nothing, uh, nothing really going on in this one. But we'll find out. Maybe they just moved over here, Mary. <laughs> Wouldn't that be the best? So I didn't have super strong hives going into winter. And so I fed them a sugar solution to help them build up a bit of food storage. And now that it's spring and they're probably out of what they stored, I'm feeding them again. But once it's warm enough, if we see any signs of a queen laying again, then we'll switch. Right now I'm using a two to one sugar water solution and we'll switch to a one to one. But it has to be warm enough also, because I don't want to freeze and we're not out of winter yet. Maybe. Yeah, hopefully we are. I'd love to be, I'd yeah, love girls. to be done. This is the hive that died. Um, and like I said, we opened it a few weeks ago and it looked great. There was honey in here. There were lots of bees moving around. So this little baby is called a hive tool. Um, the bees work really hard to seal their hive up um, anything. And so when you get in here, you really have to pry things apart because they basically glued everything in together. Um, this top box has um, comb in it, but it's all completely empty and clean. There's nothing going on. So this is a hive excluder and in a really healthy hive, we'll keep this to separate so that they, the queen only lays brood in the bottom box and fills the worker bees fill the top box up with honey because the worker bees can fit in between the little spaces, but the queen is too big, she can't fit. Look how much stuff they brought in though. So one thing we found, we, had, we have chickens on property and they have granular feed. And in the winter time, sometimes bees will think that's pollen and they'll bring it in and they brought in a bunch. Tried to store it and tried to store it. So there's a bunch of chicken feed at the bottom of this. Here, but there's yeah. so much of it. Yeah, in that's there. what I was looking at is it's just, yeah, it's just that chicken feed. Is it chicken feed? feed? Is that what it is, right? Yeah. <laughs> have to bring, we'll take this whole hive in and take it apart and clean it, but. Crazy girls. Crazy girls, they tried to survive on chicken feed and that's not what bees eat. They're like, forget this hive, we made a mess. Let's start over. They swarmed, wanted to tidy your home. You'll notice that there's an upstairs entrance into this hive. And this is new. They just started coming in and out through this little tiny hole here. And so, well, you know, they have their entrance down here. And so what we're wondering is if the swarm took off, because I have a food source here, if the swarm took off and moved in upstairs. This box was primarily empty. It didn't have any brood in it. I just left it there because it had frames of food that they had built up. And so, oh, they don't like me standing here. They aren't super happy, are they? No. They don't seem mad though. They're not aggressive. They're just, they're just disoriented. Buzzing around. Yeah, look at them go. 
proceed with caution, I guess. Yeah. This is a whole swarm of bees. I really think your bees just moved just in. moved into the upstairs <laughs> like, of your hive. Yeah. We'll just move. They, I, I'm so hospitable. Yeah. They've glued it so tight. Oh, yeah. So sometimes you'll see bees like linking their little legs together and making a chain. And they'll only do that when they're like a teenager during the same time that they're the fa same phase of life when they're building comb. So this is a super productive hive. I mean, they're, they're working hard. Yeah, let's Set keep it. going where we're at. Capped brood. We have a laying queen in the upper box. Look at that. And there's a queen Look cell Look at all right the larvae. There. Oh, there's another I queen think, cell. No, those are drone cells, are I think. Drones? Yeah, because they'll lay a queen cell um, down on the bottom or sideways. I think those are this just taller. This is over they're here. Yeah. They're all having a little snacky snack. Oh my goodness. You can see, like, that's mature larva. We're going. This is a <laughs> lot of bees. So inside of the little yellow ones you see, that's all brood. Um, there isn't capped honey on this side. It, it looks a little darker. Capped honey is like white on the top and it'll be along the top and then they'll lay their brood along the bottom. And then this little lady has pollen in her hind legs that she brought in. Their legs are like little cargo pants. So they stuff them. Oh, I see the queen. Oh, there she is. There is the queen bee herself. On a tray that sh you shouldn't feel very natural. There's not I wonder if raised they, comb. They might have moved her over there though. This also is so full that, like, unless I have empty frames in the bottom, it needs another box, like yeah. ASAP. Well, so naturally, bees have an instinct to protect themselves. So smoke convinces them that there is a fire and so they will move to the inside of the hive and eat all the honey and start eating they <laughs> just start stuffing their faces they'll bury themselves because in life when there's emergency the best thing to do is to stuff your face just eat just eat The three hives that are living look good, I think. Awesome. We found, we saw two of the queens. Um, one queen we didn't actually find, but lots of sign that she's doing what she needs to. There's larva and brood and honey. Um, so things look good. That hive that was dead, we only have guesses. It is gone. It is void of honey. No sign of life. No That's sign of life. Um, the thing that may have happened is they started bringing in that chicken feed and it is all throughout the hive. And I think they just, one, they ran out of honey because it was all chicken feed. And two, it's a hot mess in there. So they're like, just flew the coop. Let's go start over somewhere new. Um, but we'll keep watching. Um, so in the spring, the biggest issue with um, hives is swarming, losing your hive. So we're gonna be watching for that, signs of that, um, and hopefully, catch a swarm to fill some of our empty hives or maybe get a new nuke, a new nuke which is a new queen and some bees so you can start over. Mm -hmm.